Okay, this is the lesson for um, our next grammar unit where we're going to be talking about when to use italics or when to use question marks. Be sure to pause this video as needed so you can write down some notes. We're going to start off here pretty quick. Um, italics you use when you're writing if you're talking about titles of longer works, okay, and anything that takes over a hundred minutes to read, watch, or listen to is considered a longer work. They will always be italicized, remember when you're typing, or if you are handwriting, you would underline them. Um, you're going to use italics when you're referencing books, plays, or longer poems, newspapers, magazines, movies, or a TV series, websites, or CDs. Okay, that's when you would use italics. Some examples would be Romeo and Juliet, the magazine Cosmo or Cosmopolitan, the book 1985, the newspaper The Emporia Gazette, the movie The Last Dance, or the epic poem Beowulf. Okay, all of those take more than 100 minutes to read. So a magazine, if you were to read it from cover to cover, would take you over 100 minutes. Um, those are when you would use italics. Again, you would underline if you were writing those titles by hand. You put titles into quotation marks if you're talking about shorter pieces or smaller pieces of larger works. If it takes less than 100 minutes, um, those will always be placed in quotation marks. So if you're referencing songs, uh, poems, short stories, chapters in a book, or maybe articles in a newspaper or magazine, or episodes of a specific TV show. Okay, those you would use quotation marks. Um, examples would be the article, The Astronomers Find Seven New Planets, the short story, The Sniper, uh, the poem, Two Roads, the song, Starboy, um, or the chapter, Mango Says Goodbye. Okay, those are all examples of quotation marks. Tomorrow in class, we will do the examples. So once you're done with these notes, you can go ahead and put them away.